All right there, uh, real quick, John, uh, my bench is uh, a mess, so please excuse me, but I was trying to get this thing, uh, uh, going ahead and get this thing knocked out for you. So first off, uh, I've just got a random D104. This is uh, not no special one I picked out for the radio like I would have have originally for you, so it's just one I got on my bench. But anyway, three o'clock is likely going to be where you need to run your setting. You know, I would go ahead and go ahead and say that. Change your mic to three. If it's at five now, go ahead and move it back to a three. Mic gain is going to come out somewhere around the three o'clock position. This is barefoot, of course, so you might end up running out to one o'clock or so as a, as a ballpark uh, when you get all your boxes and stuff on. So I left just a little bit of headroom there uh, in case it were necessary. Uh, this is your uh, uh, average power control. Uh, it's got a little label on that. Might, might would have been better on the top, we'll depending on where it's mounted in the mobile. But anyway, uh, uh, you know, obviously more average swing to the right, less to the left. Uh, this is uh, people. Most people get this backwards. To the left is actually maximum audio. That's the biggest sound you could ever create. The more average power you roll in, the more you take your dynamics away from the highs, and the more pinched off you could possibly be or run out of headroom. You know, so uh, my preference is usually going to be you know somewhere three o'clock or less. You know, or I mean, if you just straight audio, you don't give a crap where the watts wind up. All the way to the left. Uh, so uh, you know, somewhere in here, I'll keep it for now. Uh, this is uh, the average power adjustment which you already had. We have a tone control here. You're gonna run this somewhere around the 12 o'clock position, maybe a touch past it. If you wanna be real, real heavy, you could probably go over around in here. If you go down here, you're gonna take away too much high range. You really need to be at least back in here somewhere probably. Uh, but I'll, I'll put it just a smidge past 12 uh, for now, uh, just a hair past 12. Uh, so all the way to the right is maximum bass, all the way to the left is maximum treble. Even when you go to the left, you still have your bass. It doesn't roll them off. It just adds a lot more highs in to make it more dynamic to mix with the bass that's already there. Uh, back uh, adjustments here. You can't see the labels because I got it covered up in wiring right now. Uh, but I did label it. You got a relay for your uh, keyer there, headphone jack, MP3, and monitor. So uh, three jacks that we added are right here white plug black plug and this silver or whatever so this is the headphone jack that's going to be stereo swap with a relay works with the monitor all that stuff or, or without it you know if you didn't want to use the monitor uh the uh middle jack is the mp3 with line level recording and the end jack is the monitor i put a little label on the uh white wire uh it says monitor radio on it and i put a little label on the other wire on the send you says MP3 with line level, so it'll help you keep from getting mixed up or something not being hooked up correctly. So the monitor, which is the white cable here, that white cable is going to lead back from this monitor jack, which is on the left of the radio, uh, and then that white cable is going to go uh, to the external speaker jack on your the back of your monitor radio. So white cable, monitor radio, goes to the external speaker jack, your MP3 cable, is going to be what you put your adapter on for whatever style phone that you use uh, and that's going to plug directly into your phone then it's going to record your receiver line level like this tone that you hear uh, from the rf generator there uh, you will hear uh, that tone whenever i plug in on the receiver and then when i key the relay will swap over to the monitor jack and then you will sample your voice out of your monitor radio so you, so your receive would be line level your monitor would be line level then the headphone jack it's also tied to the relay as well so you're going to listen to this receive that we hear on these headphones we key the mic the relay is going to swap it over to the monitor and you're going to hear your voice out of the monitor too so it kind of makes it all one mesh system that's uh, easy to work together so uh, that gives you enough settings and adjustments to remember three or so on the variable bird Three on the mic gain, three on the back of the mic should be some pretty easy things to remember. And then you could start at the 12 o'clock halfway point for the bass and treble, and then may lean a little further to the right. Probably won't need more than more treble than 12, maybe 11 if you're, you know, you, I remember your voice is pretty bassy, so you actually might need to, need to run here at 10 or 11. I think you did end up needing more mids with your voice. You got a really bassy voice. Uh, so, uh, but we'll keep it at, you know, 12 or so. Uh, all right, so I've got about a minute left, and my phone's going to run out of memory. So let me try to plug this thing in. Let me get my headphones in first so I don't get no feedback. Uh, try to do this. Sorry, man, this uh, video is a wreck, but I want to make you something. I've got lots of videos covering the dual monitor setup, but I figured I'd make you one for you, too, so you got it. Then you get to hear what it sounds like anyhow. Uh, like I said, just a random D104. It ain't the greatest of tests, but give you an idea anyhow.
All right, I'm gonna plug into the line level now. All right, uh, so it was uh, a little bit hot, so you see now back down uh, the receiver, uh, but I've got a handheld uh, D104 uh, plugged in for you. I've got that uh, setting at about, I guess, 230 on the variable bird, three on the back of the mic, and about 12 here. So, of course, we can go to the right, make it a lot more heavy, and, and I can't really imitate you uh, <laughs> uh, to compare, but 955 in the big star. Now, I don't know. But anyway, uh, 3 o'clock on the mic game, plenty of headroom. Everything sounds good. Spectral purity is uh, uh, good, so I run out of cord there. But anyway, uh, John, 955, hope you enjoy it. But this is just to show you the hookup, uh, to get everything in line and be able to monitor the audio and make adjustments if necessary. 955, take care. There's the end of the recording.